Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car and we have a very special video for you guys today. Now, hang out with me for a sec because we have some stuff to unpack before we get started. Now, for years, people have been asking me to do a glow-in-the-dark car with Dip. And for several different reasons, I haven't really been interested in the idea. First thing is, we've played with glow pigments in the past and they're not very user-friendly. It's hard to get full coverage it's hard to get even glow across the car. The pigments don't really have a good feel to them. And a lot of them out there that claim to be very good don't glow very bright. They don't glow for very long and they don't last long term. So I wasn't really interested in promoting something that I wouldn't really want to do to my own car for our customers to do. That's not really how we work. However, enough people have asked for a long enough period of time that we're going to do it. We're going to do a full scale glow car and we're just going to do it for fun for your guys' viewing pleasure. So, we, if we're gonna do it, we wanted to do it right. I went out there, I did the research. I found eight different glow pigments that all claim to be high quality, high grade glow pigments and we put them all to the test. We wanted to see which ones were, first of all, compatible with our DYC gallons. Second, we wanted to see which ones glowed the brightest. And third, we wanted to see which ones held on to their charge the longest. Out of all eight, Two of them stuck out from the pack big time. And ironically, both of these companies claim they have the brightest glow pigments in the world. The first one that stood out was this lit product. You may have seen it before. It's from culturehustle.com. The second one is from my buddies at KP Pigments. They just released their Crypto Bright pigment. After the testing, both of these were basically head-to-head -head on glow brightness and at how long they hold their charge. So because we have the two brightest glow pigments in the world at our disposal, and I have a bunch of it, I figure what I'll do is mix them both together and use them on the car. All right, so this is the car we're working on. We've got the Evo here, and we've got a solid white plastic spray base down on it. It's already peelable. We're just using the glow pigments in top coat for our glow effect. Now. White base is probably going to be a must. These pigments are going to dry in like a whitish, off-white color, and going over a dark base would probably just be a nightmare. So white base to start. And like I said, I have a whole bunch of both of these pigments to work with. So I'm thinking 50 grams per gallon, basically a 25-gram load of each one. I'm going to mix up four gallons. I have a feeling we're going to be stacking coat after coat until we finally get this thing solid. And my plan is, obviously, the booth is well lit. We're going to drop a coat, let it dry, turn the lights off in the booth, check to see where our weak areas are, and keep building until hopefully we get a solid, even glow across the whole car. Wish us luck.
All right, guys, first coat is down. I'm gonna have Gabe shut the lights off here for us so I can show you exactly where we're at. So it's, it's kind of glowing. It's kind of glowing, but as you can see, we really have our work cut out for us. Back to the grind. All right, guys, we are done, and our Evo now glows in the dark, and it is crazy. Now, I know you guys want to get straight to the reveal. I don't blame you, but hang out with me for just a second. We have a couple things we have to cover. First, we used all four gallons of the glow pigment on the Evo to get solid, even coverage all the way across. And we knew right away, 50 grams per gallon was not gonna cut it. So we actually bumped up each gallon to 100 grams per gallon of glow pigment. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it flowed perfectly fine through the DYC sprayer. And luckily these pigments are very affordable, so it doesn't hurt the wallet too bad to have that many grams per gallon. And trust me, you want the coverage because glow pigments can be a little bit finicky and you want it to be solid and even all the way through. Now, this is not an easy, easy project. It's definitely trickier than a lot of our other colors. So if you're gonna do this on your full car, and I know there's a lot of you guys that want to, make sure you go into it knowing it's a challenging project. It is not as user-friendly as most of our colors. It's definitely more on the advanced side. I have no idea how long these pigments are going to last long-term, and I have no idea if it's even legal in your area to drive a glowing car. I know it sounds a little silly to think it might be illegal, but just check in your area with your local authorities. Make sure this is okay, because I, uh, I could understand it being a little bit distracting having a glowing car driving up and down the road. So always safe to double check. Both of the pigments that we use today, the Crypto Bright and the Lit, are excellent. I tested them side by side. I don't see an advantage to using either one. I don't think you have to mix them together. They perform very, very similar. So there's a link in the description box below where you can get both pigments. Use one, use the other, mix them together, however you wanna do it. The end result is worth it if you're willing to put in the time and the work. Now, they're gonna be great for small projects, but again, if you wanna do it on your whole car, there's also a link in the description box below to a glow-in-the-dark car kit which will include everything you need to get this project done. Now, we want to show you this car glowing. We tried to bring it outside. There's too many street lights. It's too well lit. We didn't get the glowing effect we want. So we're gonna show it to you in a controlled environment. We're going to charge this thing as much as we can charge it and show it to you in the booth, maybe in the warehouse, and hopefully blow your minds because when I see this thing in person, it's hard to wrap my head around. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for taking the time to subscribe to our channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love doing experiments like this with you guys. It's Fonzie. I will see you on the next video.
Thank you.